Okay, we're in the horse barn. There's a horse getting a shower back there. Here's a horse in here. Hi, pretty horse. Can I ask you a couple questions? Is that yes or no? Who would you rather kick? LeBron James or Terrell Owens? Are you tired of being compared to Secretariat? No? Okay. Well, I think you have a lot on Secretariat, especially considering you're still alive, honey. Good luck in your next race. I don't know if you've already raced or not. I don't keep up with the horse racing. I think that's an OCD horse. So that's nice to have an OCD horse. And again, some of the stalls are, are empty. I'm tempted to go in there and see what it feels like to be a horse. Oh, here's another one. Oh, another pretty one. Hi there. Yeah, I ain't about to get kicked. Hi there, pretty horse. All right. So there you go. This is the horse farms at the Frederick Fair. They have the little horse races with the little, um, they pull the little buggy behind them and all that, blah, 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 blah. I used to take a Megan man to it. Hi there, you're pretty. I come in peace. I'm not going to get on you. I don't want to ride you. I just want to admire you. Can I get a picture? All right, very good. I got a picture of you. I'll post it on Facebook. You're going to be famous, honey. So anyway, and here's another one. Hi there. How are you? You're a beautiful horse. Yes, you are. Now, this is a little caution sign. Caution, horses may bite. Are you a biter? I come in peace. I wish I had some hay for you. Now, I don't know if that hitting of the paw is any sign of anything or not. And then there's some more getting another one getting a shower. So this is the horse barn. So now I'm just going to keep going around. Again, just beautiful horses. Now we had ponies when we were kids. They weren't full blown horses. I don't think I've actually I ever rode a, rode a horse where you could ride our ponies around. And they used to chase me. I had them on, a, on the rope. I was running down the hill and they just kept running after me. The strangest thing, the faster I would run, the faster the pony would run. I kept saying, stop, stop, stop. And it just kept coming. And of course, my family was no help. They kept saying, let go of the rape, rope. The horse ain't gonna let go of the rope. The rope's around his neck. Anyway, somehow I survived it. I survived my childhood. I don't know how, but I did. And I lived to tell my stories. Now here we are, I don't know what, all oh, the baby pigs, oh, we gotta look at the baby pigs. There's nothing better than baby pigs. Maybe the baby ducks, they were pretty cute. But it seems like every year at the fair they have some new piglets born. Plus, they have some pigs. So we'll take a look at the baby pigs. And again, this isn't, Frederick is an agricultural community. And it's, it's the, this is the longest continuing agricultural fair in the state of Maryland. So if I wore a cap, I'd take it off for Frederick. Ooh, and I almost fell. There's the mama. You are lazy. And look at all the pigs. Oh my gosh. Is that so cute? Look at them just laying there. So cute. 
as Kevin would say, lots of ham sandwiches in there, bacon. I guess you'd call these bacon bits. Oh, look at that one getting up. Wilbur, Wilbur. Did you ever read Charlotte's Web when you were in school? I used to love that. And I would imagine Charlotte being here at the fair. I don't know, it didn't say when they were born or not. And I guess it ain't none of my business. Pigorama. Hi. And I think this was all pigs. You know what they say? You've seen one pig, you've seen them all. Uh, all right, I'm going through all this. I like the baby pigs, but the rest of them, as I say, you see one pig, and then you're like, oh, there's a pig. Oh, there's another pig. Oh, another pig. Okay, now this is the sponsored by Hubble Trucking. And it's, it looks like, I think this is the birthing center. This is cows, this is not pigs. And you can actually come here and watch a cow being born. Who would want to? Not me. Bubba ain't watching no cow being born. I'll wait till the stork brings it and leaves it to mother. Oh, they're tiny. Let's see if it says, please don't pet my babies. I'm a protective mom. And look how little they are. Oh, so cute. These are tiny, tiny piglets. But so they bring the ones that are going to have babies and have just had them and they put them in the birthing center to show people what that's like. But I, for one, don't want to see it. And this is Western Maryland Veterinary Association is the sponsor. And I assume this one is about to about to deliver because all these people are standing around watching. But as, you, as I already told you, I'm going to keep moving because I don't want to see it. If I accidentally see it, I'll be vomiting everywhere. And I haven't even got any rides yet. Oh. Okay, looks like there's a the goat show over here. Last year we were here with Amanda, and she was she was a participant. I think he's talking about judging. You know, I don't believe in judging. I think every goat is created in its own way, and they need to be judging. They get bad self-image. They get that goat fever. Mm. That's terrible. But so anyway, he's a rambling on, so I'm just going to keep moving. I'm a rambling man. I'm keep moving. Okay, and this is sheep, it looks like, from the Moore family. We got sheep. Shepherd's Acres. We got sheep. So all of this is at the Great Frederick Fair. And see right here it says Amazing Maryland Agriculture. But that's what it's celebrating. It's celebrating the agricultural history of Frederick. It was established as a agricultural hub. And of course now you know what there's happening. They're selling all the farms off and they're building up townhouses. So pretty soon Frederick will be a townhouse hub. 
And here's some of the eating stands, butterfly chips. I don't know what that is. I, I guess they do terrible things to butterflies. Now, who wants to eat a butterfly? There's beautiful monarch butterflies, and they're making them into chips. That's outrageous. Okay, and here we are. All the fresh squeezed lemonade. When I was a kid, I loved to come to the fair and get some, give me some fresh squeezed lemonade, but I don't drink it anymore because of the sugar. I'm going, you know, trying to watch the sugar. Still my, my war with sodium, but I also have to watch the sugar intake. The New Market Grange. Keep going. The 88th year here at the Great Fred Fair. The grasshopper. It's so much mower. Get it? A little play on words. I love a play on words. Instead of more, it's mower. Okay. And they have ice cream. Booster's ice cream. They have all these. And again, the old time photos. Bring the kids out, get an old time photo. They'll love you for it. The kettle corn, sweet and salty. So if you want salty, you get salty. If you want sweet, you get sweet. If you want both, you get both. Now here's the milking station. You come watch them milk cows. Now I've never done that either because I think, why would I want them? Want to? Like if they were, I wouldn't. You know, just doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to take a little break and sit here in the shade, relaxing. Again, that's New London Homes. Milking parlor, how do you dairy? And again, there's more animals over there, but we're not going to go see them animals. Because quite frankly, I've seen enough animals before I even come to the fair, on my way to the fair. So anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. For Wednesday, I just got off today. I've had a long shift. So I thought, you know, what a nice way to start my week off so to take a walk around the fair so i'm just about done my one walk around and then i'm going to be heading home i'm going to go around by the rides and the games you know i used to come with megan and we'd walk by them games and them guys would yell hey when your daughter a stuffed animal or whatever and she'd get so mad she'd say they ought to know you're my uncle you're bubba you're not my father I just say, okay, let's just keep walking. And of course, she liked to play the games. And I told her, I said, now you have to think, how much is that little dumb little prize worth? Because if you spend, they, what they do is they they roll you in. You first you get some dumb little snake. It's a you know not even the size of a snake. And then they say, if you win the next ten, you get to move up. The move up is like a half a cat. Then they say, oh. You win that, then you get to move up again. Another twenty dollars, and you can move up again, and you get a dog. To get the bear, you don't spend a hundred dollars. And the guy's grinning and grinning. I, I, I oh, I got one of one of one of my prizes. He don't care about getting rid of that bear because he just took a hundred dollars from you. So just watch those games because they are scams. Even if they're um, legitimate, you spend too much money on them. So it. That's Bubba's words of wisdom about the Frederick Fair. Uh, they uh, do have those games and they have the rides. Everybody likes the rides. But what Megan and I used to do is every day we'd come to something different. One day we'd just walk around the animals. You know, we'd go see the chickens like we did that we did earlier. We went and saw the chickens. And she always wanted to go to the birthing center because she wanted to see them born. Of course, I did not want to see them born. So they would. one day we were here and they said, this one can have a, will have a calf at any time. And Megan was so excited, and every time we'd go near it, she'd say, let's go back over to the birthing center. And for a while, I kept coming up with excuses, and then um, finally we did go over, and I think I started coughing or something. we got to get out of here. I'm, all this hay is bothering my allergies. Spoiler alert, I don't have allergies, but I did not want to see a cow being born. So we never did. Sorry, Megan, we never saw it. And uh, we did see a, a couple of small little calves. That's what they call a small cow, a calf. A baby cow is a calf. And uh, that's all there is to it.
But okay, well, have a good day. It's Wednesday. Coming toward the weekend, we have an exciting weekend plan. I'm really excited about this. I, I'm going to um, Charlie and Bess in Cumberland and stay from Friday until, I guess I'm coming back to Frederick on Monday, Monday morning. Uh, Sunday, we're all getting together and we're going to see the Pirates, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Megan and Johnny and Marissa and uh, Charlie and Bess and Chuck and Dougie and Melissa and uh, the two boys and Zachary's girlfriend are all going to the Pittsburgh Pirates game. So we got tickets, we got them already printed out, printed home tickets, and I'm really excited. I haven't been to a baseball game this year. I've never been to Pittsburgh in my life. So I'm looking forward to that, and it should be a great time. I, when um, both Dougie and Megan were younger, I used to take them myself to games, to Orioles games. And um, so now for us to be back together again and doing that's great, going to be great fun. And as I say, I haven't been to one this year at all. It just hasn't worked out. So I'm glad to be going to a major league game, even though I don't care about either team. Like I'm not a Pirates fan, even though now that I bought the tickets from the Pirates, I am now considered a Pirates insider. I get the emails all the time, only for Pirates insiders. So I guess that's me. I was going to say something that the pirates say, and I can't even think of it. So we'll just I'll just leave it at that and say we are going to the Pirates game this weekend. And uh, I am here at the fair. So if you want to come out and walk around with me, text me, call me, email me, and uh, it'll be a deal. Deal.